מכס דם and מכס חושך made us rich in מצרים. Just like today, water and electricity are the best commodities. Three days was dark and three days was impossible to move. And Rashi brings the Midrash. Why Makas Choyshech was divided into two parts? One part for burial. The second part was for searching hidden treasure. Which half of the Makas Choyshech, the Yidden, went to search for treasures? The first half or the second half? It is a Machloikis. The Nachlas Yankov wants to say, that the second half was so heavily dark that even the Yidin will not be able to go into Mitzrayim. As it says in Posuk, The light was only where they were standing, in Eretz Goshen, not in Mitzrayim. In Medrash says, It doesn't say that there was light in Eretz Goshen, wherever the Yidin were. So we have a machloek is between the Midrash and the Nesivos Hamishpot. But how is it possible that an Achroin should argue with a Midrash? So Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky says, Al Korchacho, we have to say there is a machloek in the times of Chazal. And he brings a machloikes in Meseches Kedushin, Tavlamet Zayin. What means Moishav? Is Moishav where the Yidden sit? Or Moishav means a time after Yerusha is Yeshiva, after they conquer Eretz Israel, and then you own Eretz Israel. Since we have a machloikes, what is the perush of the word Moshav? Therefore, post success by Makas Choyshech. The meaning of Moshe will be also a machloikis. Whatever they'll go, or whatever they own, they go to Mitzrayim will be light, or only in Eretz Goishim, which they see they own, will be light. So the Nesivo Samishpot doesn't argue with the Midrash. He follows the Gemara. The Nesivo Samishpot learns, therefore, the first three days they went into Mitzrayim to search for treasures. It was dark, but it was movable. The second three days was so heavy they couldn't get into Mitzrayim. That's when they went to bury their Reshoim that did not want to go out of Mitzrayim. But according to the Midrosh, we can say it was just the opposite. The first three days they buried the Mesim. The second three days that the Mitzrayim weren't able to move, that's when they went into Mitzrayim and they were able to search Mitzrayim were not able to move. Even when it's dark, you can fight an intruder. Uh, how can you go into a Goyish house and look around? You have to say they were standing outside and they had metal detectors. That's the Or Hagonus, X-ray vision. They were able to see only the treasures.